so John, uh, you have an uh, interesting film here at uh, Hot Docs. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. You want to say the title? <laughs> Assholes, <laughs> a theory, right? Yeah, it'd be a little stronger. Okay. Assholes, assholes, a theory. Assholes, a theory. Yeah, you yes. Gotta, you got to really punch out the. Okay. Asshole, assholes, right? a theory. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's a based on a. It was inspired by the book Assholes, a Theory, the New York Times bestseller by Aaron James. So when when I read the book, the first thing I wanted to do was give my daughter a copy of this book. You know, because right. it's, it's from my point of view, all her boyfriends are assholes. Yeah, yeah. And I thought she needs this book so she can avoid these guys. You know. Uh, my second instinct was to call up Aaron and say, that I think this is a great film, but a very prescient book. Um, you know, at a time when our moral compasses are spinning out of control, you know, Aaron's book was a, he's a moral philosopher, so it's a pushback against this behavior. The interesting thing about, yeah, go ahead, you want to ask no, me a question? No, no, yeah, no. I, you know, so, so the interesting thing about assholes is that they can be very, um, you know, attractive, they can be wealthy, and alluring and seductive mm -hmm. but they can also be destructive mm -hmm. if you're if you have a boss or a boyfriend or god help if your country's being run by an asshole yeah. it's a destructive personality mm -hmm. so the film is a pushback to show what the asshole can do you know what the destructive side so we we have fun with it uh -huh. we also go dark uh -huh. and we also come out in act three with the no asshole rule there's actually something can be done about this in a very positive way so there's there's positive solutions to assholery but we need to push back against this behavior that is seemingly on the increase mm -hmm. so how did you pick your subjects for this film so the subject well aaron of course uh john cleese loved the book so he approached john and he was a big supporter of the film um mainly we're dealing with you know, we show assholes, but we don't talk to assholes. Why would I want to talk to assholes? What's an asshole got to say about being an asshole? You know, they're already out there, right? And, and we also want people to think about the own, their own people that they're dealing with, of this behavior. So it sparks your own examples, rather than us having to show it. There's enough coverage of this, these kinds of people in media every day, so we didn't need to talk to them. Absolutely. So we were really talking about the pushback, you know, what do we do about them, largely what we do about them, and examples of, of this kind of behavior, and so we deal with Ber Silvio Berlusconi and people that have dealt with so and so forth, so. So you've done a lot of uh, documentaries, what, what stands out about this film that, uh, that kind of interests you, yeah. and as compared to all the, your previous documentaries? Well, the, the interesting thing about this is that anybody can relate to this film. You know, I made a film about growing up in Quebec and Quebec politics. You know, if you're from Quebec, if you're Canadian, you'll be interested. This is a subject that's, you know, universal. You know, we, yeah. everybody has to deal with yes. this behavior. Uh, and it's... At, it, we're also very critical of social media because social media is expanding and enlarging this kind of behavior you know with haters the Italians call them haters we call them trolls uh, so I think it, it it's a film that relates to everybody it's a very popular subject so in, in that sense it's it's unique for me in that way often I make films that aren't necessarily universal Tell us about the uh, support of the National Film Board getting behind this project, of course. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm very pleased to have the National Film Board of Canada. I'm very pleased with all of the funding because it's, you know, the Canadian government, our public sector is supporting, and, and CBC Documentary Channel, or the Documentary Channel, um, is that they're supporting a pushback against this behavior. I mean, I think that's great, that, that the Canadian government is taking a position uh, by supporting and funding a film that's pushing back and saying this, we don't want this kind of behavior personally, within our institutions, or in terms of with our politicians. So it's a very pressing in that way and, and so it's great to have their support. And what do you want your audience to actually take away from this film when they come watch it here at Hot Talks? Somebody said this is not a film, this is a movement. So we're trying, so it, this is a movement, a push, push back. You know, we started the film before the Me Too movement. That's that's part of it. Yeah. You know, it's, this is very much I deal with the gender issues. It's mainly a male domain. You know, there are a few women exceptions, female exceptions, but it's yeah. generally a, a, a male behavior. So it's 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 the you know uh, it is a movement that we've got to identify this behavior, start pushing back on it, not rewarding this behavior, and uh, and making sure that we that our our children. Uh, you know, changing, we need to change the paradigm. This behavior is not acceptable. You know, no matter how funny assholes can be, it's not acceptable. It's time to push back. And particularly in social media and other, other areas. And uh, so we're very critical of, of uh, Silicon Valley.
in that sense. Well, thank you so much for your time, John, and uh, good luck with your film. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Good, good talk to you again.